Hello and welcome everybody to this special online presentation where together we're going to share how to double or triple your online business by adding new customers using a simple system that you'll be able to start implementing as soon as this presentation is over. Now before we get to that I have to warn you that what we're about to cover may shock you with how easy it is for somebody to torpedo your business online. Now, what am I talking about? I'm not, not talking about because of some weird, obscene content that's going to be you know in this. I'm talking about how easy it is for anyone to silently torpedo your business online without you ever knowing about it. See, there's a silent killer stalking you and your business on the web right now. And you may be his next target because he's looking to hijack your business sites and stop all potential visitors from calling you. You're probably wondering, you know, are you in his crosshairs? And, you know, who exactly are these people that are that are targeting me? What we need to cover before that is how and why they're targeting you. And it's because in search today, in local search today, local, social, and mobile are all intersecting, placing you and your business right in the middle of all three. And what that allows is it allows it to make it easy for anyone to just simply put on a mask and hide behind a computer and write a scathing review about your business just like the one you see here. This one is for a dentist, a scathing one-star review. And this can happen to Anybody in any industry it could be a restaurant, it could be a hair salon, it could be uh, heating and air conditioning, it could be anything. Anybody could just basically get on behind a computer and they wouldn't say a word to you in front of your face. But when they get behind a computer, they have complete anonymity and can just say whatever they want. And remember, this could be anybody out there. This could be a disgruntled ex-employee that decided one day that they didn't like uh, you know, you and they were going to go out and tarnish your reputation online. Or maybe an unruly customer with an axe to grind. We've all dealt with somebody just like that. Or could even be your competition trying to sabotage your business. Now, you know, th these sites, they're trying to keep everything 100% pure, but many of them are too big to care or able to help you quickly. So these reviews may sit up there for hours, days, or even months before you know about them or before they're able to come down or you're able to combat this problem. So today we're going to cover three things to protect your business online. And these are the three things that you must do. So if you got a pen and paper, write these three things down down right now. You need to localize your business, you need to mobilize your business, and you need to optimize your business. And to do that, we need to get inside the mind of our customers and figure out how do they search, where do they go to, and what are they looking for. Now, when somebody goes to the search engines, the majority of people go to Google or another search engine, but the majority of people do go to Google. And what Google wants to serve them up is the most relevant results to what they are looking for. So they take into account geographic location, where you are right now, where that computer is sitting when they're searching, what they're actually typing in. So if they're typing in a specific search term, and they're trying to give them the result that they are looking for, and they make multiple changes a year trying to give the best possible result. Google really doesn't care about your business. They don't care about you know what you're doing to help them provide content on the web. They want to know that the end user, the person that's typing in on the keyboard right now, what do they want? That is the one person that they care about and they're doing their best to serve up the best data. So what they do is they rank and they give up results and everything. And we pulled up a little heat map here, you know, because what I want to show you is that you need to be at the top to maximize traffic. That's pretty obvious, but I want you to pay attention to this. If you notice where all the red spots are, and then even off to the right, what people are searching for is something that's close to the top that's relevant because they trust the search engine. They also trust what other people are saying on these search engines. So they'll actually click through to the majority of the top spots, and they'll also look based off proximity on a map. Now, to get to the top, you know, SEO and, and all other stuff is expensive and, and difficult to understand and people are talking about stuff that you, know, you might have any concept and by the way this takes weeks, months or even years but it's lucky for you that 
that I know a little trick that's going to help you get started quickly helping save any business thousands of dollars in online advertising spending in their budget. And you'll be able to instantly boost your online traffic in just a few weeks. So before I go into that, you know, let's be realistic here. You're in a local business, you own a local business, you're in a local market. Even if you're in a huge metropolis, the overall search volume for you is relatively low. You may only have 500, 1,000 people actually searching for your business in your location at any given month. So if only 1,000 people a month are searching, you're not going to have a ton of people per day coming to your site. So what we have to do is you must maximize the traffic that you actually do have. And I've got a proven system that will allow you to do that extremely inexpensively. It will also help invigorate and excite your current customer base and is pretty much known as the only legal strategy to outrank and dominate your competition while your customers do all the work for you. And you do that by taking those three simple steps and the first step was to properly localize your business. Now, we have to go back and, and look at some statistics here where 97% of customers are conducting research online. So what that means is that if somebody's looking for something, they're not opening up the yellow pages, they're not driving around town, they're going to a web-enabled device, whether that be a computer, a smartphone, uh, a laptop, whatever it is, they're conducting research online. The majority of people are going to Google. 73% of all that online activity, people searching for businesses, are related to local content. What that means is they're looking for your business in your geographic area when they're looking for your specific type of business. So they're looking for something within 10 to 20 miles of where they are currently located. And then nearly half of those people that are searching, they do the research online and then they get in the car and buy offline. They're not just buying products online. They're going to a physical location. And your customers search using two things, proximity and social signals. And what does that mean? Well, pulling up a search here, you can see that I've typed in up at the top, chiropractor Scottsdale, Arizona. And in the top right, you'll see that the map results, the map for chiropractor Scottsdale, Arizona, shows that there are multiple locations in this geographic area. And I'm going to find one that's close to me. But then I'm also going to go pull from the social signal. So if we were to overlay the heat map here, you'd see that you know the top spots would get all of the clicks. But I want you to pay attention here. If you notice that the top two spots have a reasonable amount of reviews, but the third spot has about three times, just a little bit more than that for the top spot, about three times the overall number of Google reviews. And those are what are known as social signals. People are talking about your business and they're leaving ratings and reviews. And essentially, it's now on a social platform where others can go ahead and look and see what they've said about your business business. Now, to get into the top, there's a bunch of things you can do, but let's cover some basics that you can do for your business. First of all, the more complete your profile is on these sites, the better. So fill out the full Google Places profile. For every single box that they give you, fill that out with some sort of information based around your business. Make sure you include a web address. We're talking about you know, the little green in the middle here, that's a web address that leads to your main website. And then obviously there's also the option for them to view your Google Places page, especially when they click on the Google reviews. If there's images included in your profile, those actually get clicks too. So take a picture of your sign, just upload a few images of your business. Now you're playing nice with the search engine, the search engine, you're giving them content, they will reward you over time. And then what most people forget about is video. If you have a video about your business or you know, there's a bunch of little free sites that will build you a video or have somebody build a video or just take a iPhone or a flip cam or something and then just have a little call to action. Hi, my name is you know, Dr. So-and-so or you know, thank you for calling or visiting our video on our florist business. 
tell them a little bit about what to do and then give them your URL and phone number and now you're interacting with them and you're giving them a call to action. Contact us now. Let us know you found us on the web. We've got a special deal for you. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with video but most importantly are social signals and building up your overall ratings and reviews for your business and that's the secret to getting more traffic. Yes, you want to be as high as possible on the search engines. If you're in the top, great. Add more social signals. If you're not because of budget concerns or you're just getting started and you have to build up over time to get there, your reviews will get you noticed and because people are interacting about your business, it will help boost your rank up in the search engine. So if you're sitting lower in the 7th, 8th, 10th position, or maybe even on the second page, as you increase your overall ratings reviews, you will be rewarded with those social signals. And if you're not in the top spot, you need to use those customer reviews to boost clicks. And we'll cover that here, why, in just a minute, and how much traffic you can actually get by boosting your overall clicks using ratings and reviews. Now, that's how you're going to localize your business. Step two is to be mobile ready and mobilize your business because today, mobile search now essentially blends in with local because 33% of all mobile users access local content and 87% of those are GPS capable. And I've pulled up a uh, little uh, post here from back in November of 2011. Well, after right after Siri first came out and the whole iPhone thing uh, with the whole iPhone 4 came out. And there's really three big red hours I want you to pay attention to. First of all, when you're doing a search with a smartphone device and realize that they care about where the person is and what they're and what the overall ratings and reviews in their business, three major factors. First of all, when Siri is asked to find high end hotels in San Francisco that have a fitness center and a pool, that's very specific. She was able to return sixteen choices and it's bolded here, which you might not be able to see in the video, ranked by user reviews. What does that mean? Is that the more positive rankings you get, that is actually taken into account during mobile search. And it says in the second bullet, the second red arrow, so every business must have a well-optimized website and a fully fleshed out, constantly tended to presence on places like Google Places and Yelp. These are all social locations where people are talking about your business, and we'll get to that here in a minute. And then finally, it's important that you do everything you can to help Siri understand where your brick and mortar locations are, so where your business is, and that's where your proper, fully filled out Google Places profile comes in. Because what's going to happen is, in this example that I've shown here, is somebody's in Las Vegas and they're looking for a restaurant uh, to eat at. They're going to click on you know one of the first locations. They're going to pull up their map and they're either going to make a phone call or going to get directions to that location. It's basically push button right on their phone and they're going to step from there. Or, as a search that I was able to do, I was asked for a dentist in my area, and it pulled them up by the overall distance location for me, but then the overall ratings and reviews. You can see that the closest dentist was not the closest or the best rated review. 0.2 miles away had a four-star review, while the two five-star dentists were a mile and a half away. Also, you can see the same thing with the uh, the restaurants off to the right. I did a subsequent uh, search here looking for a good bug exterminator. And you can see that the overall numbers of ratings and reviews were pulled from Yelp from the far right screen. If you look down the very, very bottom, it says reviews from Yelp. And it did not pull the closest location to me. It pulled the one with the best reviews. So what mobile devices are now integrating is your geographic location, your GPS location, as well as their favoring the ratings and reviews and what people are talking about your business. So you really need to implement this in your business right now. Now, you might be saying, you know, I might not have an iPhone because not everybody does have an iPhone. Well, this also plays into account with other smartphones like Android devices as well. Because on Android devices, people can use uh, one-click ratings to rate places uh, using their widget and basically just push a button and click it with, with one click. And they also have built in uh, Google Maps where they can get turn by turn navigation and street view and learn a little bit more about each place. So not only, you know, we just showed the iPhone example, every single smartphone has this integrated and more and more people every single day are using these devices for search. Now, we're talking about using ratings and reviews, but the one problem with this is that the internet doesn't do a fact check when somebody writes a rating or review about your business. And in fact, 
anybody can say anything about your business. And to protect against this, you must take step three, which is optimize your presence online and maximize your current customer base so that they're seeing positive reviews constantly being posted on a weekly basis about your business. And not only on just the Google rating uh, system or you know the Google review uh, area on your Google Places page, we're talking about all of the additional sites as well. So let's stick with Google Places for right now and we're gonna show you how to optimize your business. So many customers rely on the map in search for proximity of where they are physically located, they know where they are on the map, and they look for where the, somebody is in close proximity to them. But when the top results have fewer social signals, this is extremely important, so pay attention to this, when they have fewer social signals, just as, you know, such as reviews, those lower results get more visual attention. What that means is you don't need to be in the top spot to get the most attention because this presents an opportunity for a business whose websites are not listed at the very top, they can be more competitive by adding in more reviews, just like this example that I'm showing you here. The number three position has three times the number of reviews. What that means is that this can actually, the number three position, can be siphoning and stealing traffic from the number one and two positions without them even knowing it. They're essentially going, you know, blind and they don't even know that it's happening. It's happening right underneath their noses, literally and figuratively, because they're sitting in the number three spot and they're able to gain ratings and reviews. And the people are going to look at those social signals and they're going to click through. And when they're done reading those readings reviews they're more likely to pick up the phone and call or drive to that physical location depending on the business location now if you know there's a couple things you need to be concerned about. You can't just you can severely mess this mess this up. You can't just you know open up your computer and start writing a bunch of ratings and reviews for your business. Not only will they only last about 24 to 48 hours, your business could essentially be put in a penalty box by the search engines if you do this wrong. So so don't screw this up because the bottom line here is if your website is listed in any position other than the top and your listing does not include social signals, it will be relatively ignored, especially if there other listings that do have social signals or have double or triple the amount that you have. So, in other words, let's get you some reviews online. Let's talk about getting more reviews. See, most of your happy customers would love to share their experience with your business with other people, but they just don't know how. So, let's optimize our business and help them help you. You need to train your managers and employees to have feedback cards on hand to be given to customers when they compliment your service. And these are known as social igniters. And I've presented a few examples here for you to ignite the overall social signals of your business online. Here's a simple vertical appointment reminder card for a generic company uh, with a location. You can see just by the anatomy of this card, it's simple. It tells them, you know, they've got another appointment, you got a date and time. And then the Google Places is where they're going to be going to. We're asking for their feedback on how they thought. And then we're integrating a little thing called a QR code. If you have a smartphone, they can scan this little QR code and it'll go straight to your Google Places site. Or you can use a little short URL that'll fit on one of these small cards. Tell them that you strive for five-star service. And when you're doing that, people will now see those five stars, and that's what they're more likely to give you because we've included in that. You know, we've got another example of a horizontal, which could be a business card instead of an appointment reminder, and then on the back, Google Places review. We have ones that we use for dental offices as well as other services, but this is one of our examples for their Facebook page. This is when they're walking out the door, they're happy. If they love their new smile, snap us a picture and share it with us on Facebook. Gyms use this as well. Restaurants, tell us how your meal was. And you can scan the QR code or they can just type in that URL right there on their smartphone or they can do it when they get home. This one's about the double the size of a business card. It's almost about an index card. It's just a little bit smaller than that. And it is now something that doesn't like get lost in their purse or in their wallet it stands out to them and speaking of that standing out we've also even shrunk it down to a small square well you'll see that you know gym that has boot camps how is your boot camp tell us about it they've got multiple locations so they scan in different locations or 
you know, Yelp is another really important place. So we integrate with their overall Yelp listings as well, and we rotate these through on a bi-monthly basis. So these overall ratings and reviews are constantly being reinvigorated by your customer base. And by using citations and reviews, your Google Place a Spot can start to move up in overall ranking. That's right. With a high ranking, say within weeks rather than months or years, your free advertising with just your Google Places location will bring you more targeted customers faster than traditional organic methods. And I'm going to show you how you can do this extremely cost effectively. Remember, you don't need to be in the, you don't need just need to be in the top position for the search engine. You just need to be near the top position to be able to siphon that traffic. And you don't need to be on Google Places. You need to be on Google Places and a lot of other sites, just like Yelp. You know, a lot of people think just Yelps are for nightclubs and bars and restaurants. Actually, they do a wide variety of different sites. So you want to have different social igniters across all of these common locations that people are going to go look for your business. Because each of these will rank restaurants or services, uh, heating and air conditioning, jewelers, moving companies, all within your local area. Now, you might be saying, this is great, but what about those negative reviews that are going to show up if I keep handing these things out? Look, you can't please everybody all the time, and sometimes a, a negative review will get posted due to misguided customer frustration or a member of your team making a mistake. It's an opportunity for you to address your customer base and that mistake so that service doesn't happen again. But most sites do give you the opportunity to respond to reviews to explain your side of the story. Unmerited rate negative reviews are usually very easy to spot. If somebody writes a whole long paragraph about their experience and it just seems crazy, most people are going to ignore it. In cases where it is a mistake of your team member, reply with an apology and simply explain how you've addressed the situation to avoid it from happening again. And, you know, and don't stress yourself out about a negative review or two. Business with you know perfect five stars across the board and nothing even close to a complaint can look very suspicious. And if your current client base is constantly leaving you positive reviews, you know, one negative review out of 20 positive isn't going to hurt your business at all. You appear to be a real business. And remember our doctor friend here from the beginning with the scathing review? This was the only one location that I showed you. He actually had multiple locations all posted on the exact same day, the 27th of October of 2010, that you'll be able to see that this person went out and posted an anonymous posting on their business. And he didn't even know about this for over six months. How many potential clients did he lose in this case. You know, our doctor friend was shocked to see horrible reviews and finally decided to take action. He implemented this system we've shared with you and is already seeing positive results across Google Places and Yelp and other different sites. And you can see that the first positive review that he received in October of 2011 was not sure about what the other comments are on here and they talked about their experience, but they only left them four stars. This was months after the last one, but this is a positive review and he's moving in the right direction. Not everybody's going to give you a five star. As long as there's nothing wrong, then you are fine. And as he builds out his presence, his customers are burying the damage that Anonymous did and have helped improve his overall rankings and are basically helping reinvigorate his business online using social igniters because they tend to invigorate your current customer base. They'll increase legitimate ratings and reviews for your business. They'll be building you raving fans of your business and it'll help bury negative and unwarranted reviews. It cost effectively improves your overall SEO and boosts your online traffic. Now ask yourself this question. What's just one new client a month worth to you? Think about that for a minute. Because you basically have two 
choices here. You can take what you've learned today and go out alone. I've given you everything you need to go out and figure it out and actually start implementing this in your business. But to be honest with you, unfortunately, you have about a 1 in 38 chance of success. For everybody that we set out and they've done it themselves, they've come back or they're unable to do it because they just don't have the time to implement it or it's just not cost effective enough for their business for them to do it themselves. Because you could have that 1 in 38 chance of success or you could have our team of experts do it all for you, removing all of the guesswork of where to go, how to set this up, and how to make it happen at about the same cost or actually lower. What's 30 minutes to an hour of your time worth to you to have your front desk try to figure this out or to basically do this in your spare time to have these professional cards made and have these social igniters sent to you optimized for your business. You can integrate starting immediately and start seeing things happen next week. You understand the need to protect your business online and see the power of customers building your brand for you. And we personally know the pain of having your online reputation tarnished by Anonymous. And you may have even experienced this from a competitor or ex-employee yourself. But now it's time to protect your business online. You know, it's not your fault that you might not have known about this prior, but now it is your responsibility to take action and protect your business online. And our social igniters will heat up your ratings and review in as little as one week to be at your door and you'll be starting to see these positive ratings and reviews. Because in fact, you are one step away from total domination of your local market, turning your customers into raving fans of your business, boosting your online presence, and siphoning highly targeted traffic from your competitors to your business. They'll never know what hit them. So here it is. You are now invited to enroll in our social igniter service, our complete done for you local domination solution that is easy to implement and you can start to see results by just about this time next week. Anonymous could cost you thousands in lost business. The spots are limited because for just $97 down, you'll be seeing results in just a few weeks. If there's a need to sell you on Social Igniters right now, you've either been asleep this entire time or you just don't care about your online presence for your business because using Social Igniters, you'll have the jump on your competitors building your fan base of raving referrals and you'll have them boost you to the top of Google so you can cash in on the free and best advertising you could ever imagine. Plus, if you act right now and make this investment for just $97, we're going to include a few fast action bonuses for the first 50 businesses. We're going to give you our jumpstart guide. This will come included with our social igniters to be able to just train your staff and your employees for you on how to implement social igniters in your business. This works for any business and it depends on where you're at. And we're going to teach you that right with our jumpstart guide. Also included is our website conversion review. We're going to overall look at your main website and make sure that when people come to your site, you're optimizing that traffic. We're not talking about you know SEO and all the keywords and everything. We're talking about what happens when somebody lands on your website. What is the number one action you want them to take? We're going to look at that and see how your website converts. That goes for the first 25, only is $197 value. Plus, we're going to do a full Google Places consultation for your business to make sure that you're properly using the social igniters once we start seeing those rating reviews it's a 14 to 30 day follow-up where we'll overall do a full Google Places consultation and start invigorating your business even more and that goes to the first 25 businesses that has a $500 value so make this investment and get started for just $97 if you were to call your SEO company, your SEO company, and just ask them to do one or two simple things, the cost of just calling them is about ninety-seven dollars. So what you're going to get with this, the instant return on your investment, is far better than anything any SEO company can give you. So make this investment right now and get started for just ninety-seven dollars by taking action right underneath this presentation. Okay. 
I need to close down the presentation now. So I want to be sure that you take advantage of this one-time only entry price for these social igniters for this one-time only event because we will be shutting this down when we max out the number of clients that we can handle because we want to ensure only the highest quality of service to our new clients. And the last thing you want to feel right now is being left behind or finding out six months from now that you've been slandered by a disgruntled customer. So act now and get started for just $97, building your rankings by next week and start grabbing more traffic from your competitors. Click on the button below, fill out the form below and get started for just $97. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation with us and we look forward to working with you in just the next few minutes.